Hi everyone, this is Sterling McGarvey. This is Takeshi Hiroka. And we are here playing Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for PlayStation Vita. So, from my time that I've been playing it, uh, just popping it in, it feels very, very, very close to the PlayStation 3 version. And as you can see, the opening cutscene is gorgeous on this screen. I'm just going to go ahead and jump ahead to the menus here. Get this bad boy loading up. Any particular differences Ultimate you're noticing at the start? I can show you in just a moment. Let's get past this. Uh huh. All right. Uh huh. <laughs> I cannot lie. I cannot read Japanese, so I'm going to. The one thing I can always remember is your buttons are reversed. <laughs> Circle is always yes. So the big one here is touch. So once this loads up, I'm going to go through my usual suspects. But with the touch functionality, it kind of reminds me of what Capcom did for Super Street Fighter, uh, Super Street Fighter 4 3D. Here we go. Here we go. Dante. People are going to probably make fun of my taste in characters. Whatever. I don't take it too personally. <laughs> but. Um, the idea was with the 3DS launch, they wanted to create um, a mode that was simple enough for casuals to enjoy. So you had a variety of touchscreen functions. So special moves, you could hit fire. There's a fireball touch, uh, touch function. Whatever special moves you wanted, you had them. This one, since it's a little more chaotic, a little more button mashy. Check it out. I have rear touch, so I can do a bunch of combos. And Wolverine's going absolutely psychotic, as you may notice from the uh, oh, flashing blip, blip, that you can see on screen. Yep. Family relations. So, you can also still use um, the face buttons as you normally would. And from the research I've done, there's also a filter so that if you play online and you do not feel like taking on people who will be spamming the touchpad like I'm doing, <laughs> there is that option. And you can also do it on the front. I like the rear touch because, well, for the purpose of presentation, it makes everything look significantly better. So is there any difference between touching the back and touching the front? Not from what I can tell initially, from my first impressions here. It just feels like... Um, you know, it just makes everything a lot cleaner visually. And part of the fun about MVC is just seeing the awesome moves. Why would you want to cover that all up, right? Exactly. That's why I'm a big fan of the rear touch. Like having that option just completely opens up so much more. So as far as you know, touch is the, the only difference? No no uh, motion, no none of that stuff? Not that I'm seeing so far, no. Just for my, like I said, I've been diving in now for probably about 20 minutes or so before we committed to camera. So, just from what I'm, what I'm playing, it feels uh, very, very similar to uh, UMVC3 on console, except for you know the I win button, and I can kind of stroke the uh, stroke the touchpad upwards to get aerials. Again, it's the I win button. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, it also it involves a lot of not fighting fair, but at the same time, there's a massive fun factor. It really kind of contributes to the chaotic nature of Marvel vs. Capcom in a way that I like a lot. Um, and it looks absolutely incredible. So, if you ever want to look like, uh, you know... You can pull off all the moves that you're still trying to learn as Phoenix Wright within this new hardware. You can look like a complete maestro with this new version of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So, uh, yeah, in general, this is how Marvel Ultimate MVC 3 looks on PlayStation Vita. And to check out more of our PlayStation Vita coverage, be sure to check out Games Radar.